Okay, so we're gonna be making Instagram filters. This was requested by Jesse. I'm first gonna familiar my. <laughs> I'm first gonna familiarize myself with the the program, and then I'm gonna try something nicely. So I'm just gonna open Spark AR. That's the software that we're gonna use. Facebook. Yeah, who's that? <laughs> yes. <gasps> oh, look, it's Yama. <laughs> Add object. Face mesh. Insert. <gasps> see, it's detecting my face now. And then material. Add material. Look, see, there's my face. Ew. <laughs> so I downloaded the face assets from their website, and I'm just going to be testing out some textures. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. Here. I just want, I just want to know that it works. His lips are crusty. <laughs> face. Face masculine. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> James Charles. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's cool. Do you know the like the face paint that people put on their face <laughs> when they go to like football games? Like the cheerleader, they go like. No. Okay. Well, I'm gonna be making that. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. And then we need the brown. <clears throat> New texture. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> now I can be a cheerleader. Now we can do the fun stuff. You know, Sid from Ice Age. I want to see if I can like distort the face to make it like that. Okay, so I got Blender. It's a software you can make like 3D objects and stuff. So we're just gonna take the mesh from the assets that they gave us, open it in Blender, and then change it so I can like move stuff around. Lexi, watch this. Wait, shh, 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 look, 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 look. <laughs> and then we're gonna move the nose up. <laughs> Hopefully this will work. Okay. <laughs> Okay, ready? So I have the mesh right here. Oh, deformation. Oh, what is that? <laughs> there! <laughs> it's not working. That's a good filter. It didn't work, though. Nope. <laughs> and then we change the material. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Why is my nose so big? Okay, hold on. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna restart. <laughs> restart. Okay, so now we're gonna have big cheeks. I'm gonna see if this will work. Whoa! See, why does it do that? I don't get it. I think I need to learn the program first. I'm gonna watch a bunch of tutorials and I'll be back. Okay, so I found a sculpting program that actually works. It's called Sculpt GL. It's online, it's free. I don't know why Blender wasn't working, but we're gonna use the move tool and try to make one that looks like Sid. Okay, I'm just gonna see if this works. Oh! There? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we com successfully completed, uh, no, not successfully, but we've successfully made a, a face filter. <laughs> see? I'm gonna try to see if I can bring it to my phone now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I can't, like, send it to Instagram for some reason, but I can, like, start publishing it. Okay, I'm uploading it. I'm uploading it. They said this process could take days to have it like published on Instagram and stuff like that. I'm gonna start with the Jacobs one first. Okay, pause, pause, pause. I realize that like nobody's gonna want just like this as a filter, so I'm gonna mess around and try to add stuff that make it that look make it look cool. So like I'll add like a overlay with like dust and like like the visco things. Like <laughs> I'm gonna add a bunch of light leaks and uh, dust filters. The light leaks working. So now we're gonna do the submission process. I'm gonna submit it in three, two, one. <laughs> Look, you can tap the screen to change the overlay. Yeah, guys, this is a few days later. Here's the <laughs> the HDJ filter. The Sid the Sloth one is like still in review, and it says that it's gonna take like up to 10 days in order for it to be approved, so I don't know. Okay, so here's how to make a face filter. Damn, I don't even know how to feel. Hey, I can even tell what's real. Install Spark AR. Get their assets by clicking on help and then download face assets. It'll bring you to this page where you can click download the face reference assets here. Once downloaded, open the texture folder and bring either one of the textures into a photo editing software. In the video, I used Photoshop, which um, is paid for, but free options include GIMP, Krita, Paint.net, and a lot more. Now edit the texture however you like. When finished, make sure to hide or delete the original face texture so that when we import the new texture, it's transparent. Go into Spark AR, 
add a face mesh by going to add object and then clicking on face mesh. Then we're going to create a material for the face mesh. And lastly, import the texture that we just made by clicking on the material and then pressing choose file next to the texture section. After you click on the texture that you made, you should have a working face tattoo filter. If you didn't already, install Spark AR and download the face assets again. Um, once downloaded, open the mesh folder. For deformations, we'll be working with the files named face mesh. Uh, the reason there's multiple of them is because they're just in different file formats. Import one of the face mesh files into a sculpting program. In the video, I use Sculpt GL, which is a web-based sculpting program, so you can like open it anywhere. Another free option is Blender, but as you can saw in the video, it wasn't exporting correctly, so I don't know. You can probably figure it out. Once imported, use the different sculpting tools to change the shape of the face mesh to what you want. Once you get to what you like, export the mesh as an FBX. Go back into Spark AR and create a face mesh by going to add object and clicking on face mesh. Click on the plus on the deformation tab and select the .fbx file that you edited in the sculpting program. Then you should have a working face deformation filter. If it does a weird thing like in my video, try to export the deformation as a different file format like .obj or .dae. If y'all want to use this, just go to my profile and then go into like the, the filter tab. Also, you should suggest a filter so I can make it. Subscribe for more and uh, bye.